Okay, I thought I would just uh, take a few minutes and talk about setting our flying wires, <clears throat> getting those all set up. So you can see it's actually easier. I like to do it before I've got the wings on just because it's lighter, you know, bringing the tail up so you don't have to bring quite so much weight up to get it back up in that level position. And uh, remember that it's still too light. It's still top heavy, front heavy. <clears throat> so make sure you do a little safety. And what I do is I just got, <clears throat> you can use any weight, but I've just used a five gallon can of gas with a ratchet strap on it. <clears throat> and I've just hooked it up over the tube up here. You can see it's tight, so it's uh, helping support it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna level it side to side, okay? I use a smart level, so I take the smart level, I put it right up here. I don't have my step stool, so I won't do it, but I'll put it right here on that crossbar, and I level it side to side. Uh, you can do it with air pressures if you want to in the tire to make small changes. You can see I just stick a little bottle jack underneath there, and uh, this jacket, this side had to come up a little bit. I didn't even check the air pressure to see if they were the same. Plus, when you're kind of rolling things around, they don't settle in the same as they would be if you were rolling it for a long distance and the shock's all leveled out. So anyway, that's what I've done here. Put a few boards and a little bottle jack on the edge. Bottle jacks work. You just have to make sure you keep them away from the tire as far as you can so that the tire, when you put it down, the tire won't push it and so forth. So we've got it leveled left to right then we need to put a plumb bob and put old plumber bob up here and you see it's hanging here and still shaking around for me bouncing it but you see the bottom of it when we get it level then we want to level the vertical fin so that it's this thing is it'll stop moving around so it should be right over this when it's level okay so you see what i do is i just stick it up through one of these holes and uh, like that i just take it up the string up through a hole and then i just put a piece of tape over it to hold actually hold the string in the center of that so it's actually not to the one side or the other i tape it holds it just fine and put it right in the center so that you've got a straight down center uh piece here in that Okay, so then once you've got that up there, we need to level the back of the airplane up. Go back to wide angle here. Enough to where, you know, we've got that plumb bob close to it. It doesn't have to be right over it because it'll actually hit this and interfere. So just as long as it's, you know, close enough so you can see, you know, what you're doing. So, so you can see here, it's very easy to, to line it up if I get the camera lined up with the center. So there you can see just like that. Okay, so once we've got the plumb bob on it, we've got it leveled. And uh, you see this ladder, this is a cool little ladder. I'm not sure of the height, but this little ladder, most of the time, depending on your, your tires and uh, so forth, but usually you can take this tire and put it right up here and it'll either be level or real close. Sometimes then I'll take two by sixes, just lay them across the top of here just to raise or lower it just a little bit. So when you're working on things like calibrating your, out of hards and stuff where you have to say level, which is what I'm gonna do here next while I've got the wings off still. And it's easier to raise this up. We're gonna bring it up into the, the back into a completely level position. And to do that, it's right here on the door frame, just like where it's sitting. So we'll use the door frame as a reference level uh, from forward and aft like that. So we'll bring it up to where this is level. Once this is level, then we'll tell the out of hards when we're calibrating it that that's level, which we have to do, okay? so. We put the, uh, we mount, we've installed the, obviously we've installed the stabilizers and that's what we're uh, leveling up. We located our holes in our fittings up here. I just use a, oh, another one of those picks, straight pick that I get from Harbor Freight for almost free. And I punch them all the way through. Then I use the uh, iron, soldering iron to uh, again, burn the fabric out around the edge. The manual has now been changed. It was wrong. This bolt here was a 4-14A. That's too short. You have to use a 15A. There's probably not a 15A in your kit. So a 16A is in the kit and not used. So I'll put a 16A in here and I just put a washer uh, under it, a 416 full-size washer. 
and you can't really see the nut right now because I got the string, but you can too. So you can see that it comes out about right with that. Okay, and remember you got these little clevis braces, those little braces, I guess they're braces or whatever you call them, little pieces that go right in here. They're called for in the manual. Make sure you put those in and uh, stick those through. Same thing, when you go down to these, it's got little bushings that go in there. The manual actually, uh, if you read the manual, it gives you the wrong part number. It's actually the right part number, just a different part number. It's the same bushing. But I think it's an SC15007-001. If you look at the diagram, that's the correct bushing. It gets one on top, it gets one on the bottom. It actually goes into the hole uh, that fills the gap between the uh, ends of the clamps right here where it goes through. So that's on both both sides, top and bottom. Make sure, you know, that when you bring them down that they're completely, that those bushings are in the center. So if they are, those two pieces will meet like that, okay? So then let me talk a little bit about these these wires, you take a nine, the, uh, you take a nine thirty second wrench right here. It's a nine thirty second is what these turnbuckles use. So you can see here, there's a little slot in these. There you go. So that's a nine thirty second. And that's how we can turn these. Every time I'm working with a wire, I'll put a vice grip on it and I'll put a little blue dot by it. So I can always make sure that when I'm turning, that I'm turning the turnbuckle and that the wire is not slipping, okay? So the first thing I do after I get everything all attached, um, and then like I say, just loosely, then I just kind of go in here and you see the end of this, I just kind of turn these around, you just hold the wire and just spin these around until you get about the same distance on either end. And as the manual said, that's not a structural thing, it's just an aesthetic thing, so they, got everything balanced out. Now, when you're working with these wires, it can get kind of confusing. As we're standing here, just like we are right now, looking at this wire, standing in the center of the wire, over here, they turn opposite. So if we want to tighten this, which means more screw coming out, we're gonna tighten this, which is gonna tighten you know, this wire, tighten, is the opposite of our old saying, lefty loosey. Okay, instead, of, instead it's counterclockwise. If we turn this counterclockwise, we're gonna be tightening this end. It works the same if we look at this end on the other side as we're standing here. At the same time, we would take this one, turn it counterclockwise, that would be tightening, not lefty loosey, the opposite. Clockwise would be loosening, clockwise is tightening. And if you're old and can't remember anything like me, you'll probably have to look that up a few times, but write it down. Counterclockwise is tightening, clockwise is loosening, okay? So you just work with this a little bit and just start with before you do anything, get all four of the wires where you've got them looking like that. Okay, once they're all kind of equalized out, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a, I've got my big level Oh, here, I'm gonna leave it there so I can show you what I did there. But I take a long level, was that a four foot level? I take a long level and you're gonna put it, let me just get up here. You're gonna put it across this aft tube right here, all the way across, just lay it, lay it across here because we're gonna level this horizontal stabilizer. And to do that, we're gonna do each side separately. And to do it, we're gonna use only the lower cable or the lower wire. The lower wire is the shorter of the two wires that's there. Now, what we do, Ellie, you got it figured out? Put them struts on. What are you eating? No telling. So um, we got the level on here, all right, and we're just looking at the bubble. You may have to loosen uh, or tighten this top wire just enough, but we're not worried about it. just get it keep it out of the way If you try if you're trying to get this up, you might have to tighten this one a little bit to kind of help bring this side up But this is the side that we'll want to do so with the level on there. We're gonna uh, Tighten or loosen probably gonna be tightening So you're gonna go away going counterclockwise and so we're gonna keep the ends the same We're gonna do the same amount of turns So I might turn this one if I depend on how far I got to go. I might turn this one 
a half and a half, and then I'll go back to this one, turn it counterclockwise, a half and a half. So counterclockwise here, counterclockwise there, it's gonna tighten this wire, and it's gonna bring this horizontal stabilizer down in this direction, okay? If we need it to go up, we're gonna make sure it's loose enough that we can tighten the top one to bring it up, okay? Bring it up till it's tight, you know, and then if you need to bring it back down, you just wanna make sure this is tight when you do it not, not loose. Okay, so we'll do each side, the right and the left side the same way. So that's all we're gonna do with that. And you can you can even do that if you're on the ground if you want to before you raise it up. But anyway, that's done. Once that's done, and we're not worrying anything about the plumb bob at that point, strictly get these horizontal stabilizers as level with the aircraft. So you're gonna fly, you're making the airplane fly true. So once we got that uh, done, then we gotta make sure that we've got it up in the air and our plumb bob is working and it'll be swinging off to one side or the other. So what we're gonna do then, and, and again, what I do is I've got these moved up here now, these vice grips, but when I did these, I had them down here. I just had need two pairs, one there and one there. And uh, once these are done, we're, we're probably done with these. We won't use them again. So now we'll move up to here, put the vice grips on these two wires, put a little blue dot on there so we can see where it is. And now all we're gonna do, we've already lengthened them up so that they're the same distance amount of thread sticking out of each turnbuckle. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna see which way this is hanging and then we're gonna move it so that we bring that over here. So it's a little bit of combination of both. Uh, you can, if you needed to go this way, okay, with the plumb bob, say the plumb bob. In my case on this airplane, the plumb bob is way over here. So I just had to start cranking down on this one, tightening up and loosening this side until I swung the plumb bob over and it was swinging, you know, in the middle like that. So tighten it up, uh, same thing, uh, tighten all four sides when you're tightening or loosening. So if you're loosening this side up to move it, loosen that one a, a half a turn, there a half a turn. Again, that's clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. It's making it looser. I want to tighten this side, so I'm up here, counterclockwise down there counterclockwise, tighten this side. I just kept doing it back and forth until uh, I got it uh, centered. Okay, so now we've got it all centered and what we gotta do is get it the right tension. Now you don't have to worry about uh, if you get these wires, you can tension any one of these four wires and they'll all four tension, okay? So if you've got 10 pounds on that wire, it's gonna be 10 pounds here. If you loosen that wire, it's gonna loosen all these wires. So we only need to adjust one wire, but remember we've got everything good here, right? So we've got horizontal stabilizers are level. And you might check it again, I do. I throw the level back down on them after I've plumbed it, plumbed the vertical fin so it's nice and straight. I'll throw the levels back down again just to double check. But we're, generally speaking, we're not gonna have to touch the bottom ones anymore the rest of this time, okay? We're done with it. So now we've brought this over level. Now all we need to do is get the tension up right. So, what we gotta do is we've gotta have a way of measuring uh, the deflection of the cable because we're going 10 pounds of pull at 0.44 inches of deflection center halfway up. So, so what I do is I take this long level, which I just use it as a straight edge, and I'll go up here and I'll show you kind of how I'll rig it up. It's not a big deal. It's just gonna, all it's gonna do is hold this for us, okay? So what I did, as you can see, I put it up here and it actually will hit the back of the stabilizer before it touches that bracket, okay? So this distance right here, we need to make sure we have it at the top so we've got an equal distance from the wires here and up at the top. So I just measured this distance here because up at the top, you can actually have it where it will actually would touch this. So you see, I took cardboard and it's the same distance there as it is there. So I've got the same distance from the wire to here to here, okay? So I just shimmed it out and I just stuck some tape on there. It doesn't have to be very structural, just something to hold it up there while you do this. Then I measured halfway down. That's about 40 from the turnbuckle to turnbuckle. It was about 40 and a half inches. So I went 20 and a quarter, made a mark. That's my halfway point on my wire. Okay, so then I just took a ruler or anything, just take a straight edge, put it across here and clamped it to this came over here and I just marked this wire. So that's where the wire was. Then I measured over 0.44. So that's how far of a deflection I've got to have. And I want 10 pounds there. So I'm just going to take my level or my scales and turn them on. And you're going to hook it in the center at that point. 
and we're going to pull it for it's got that much deflection and we should have 10 pounds ah kind of hard to look at the camera that at the same time but that's about what we got i'll double check it again in a minute so anyway that's what we're working for so if we're light if we need more tension remember we're going to go lefty is not loosey lefty is tidy so we need to tighten it so we're going to go counterclockwise so i would take but we want to do all four of these or at least the same amount on either side if you just had a small amount and you just want to adjust this one and this one that's fine because it's keeping this vertical fin straight without moving it's just tightening the tension but generally i do all four so if i'm at six pounds i know i got to go to tens quite a bit so i might come down here go counterclockwise a full half turn do this one a full half turn counterclockwise this one a full half turn counterclockwise and that one a full turn half turn counterclockwise come back and measure it and just keep making little adjustments either way if you're at 12 pounds you need to go down to 10 and maybe a quarter turn clockwise quarter clockwise quarter clockwise quarter clockwise, and just keep going back and forth but remember we're not going to make we're going to we've got this level so we can't over to we don't want to start moving it so whatever we do on one side we've got to do on the other to equalize it and just work it out until you got your 10 pounds and uh you're done and i'll pull this back off i'll go again i'll double check one last time my horizontal stabilizers but they shouldn't uh, have changed and that's it then we're going to tighten up these right here we'll tighten them up again holding uh the wires and make sure they're not moving and the turnbuckle and we'll tighten these up tight and then we'll torque seal them so uh I think that's about it and uh hope that uh hope it helps i know some of the confusion with me it just took a while to figure out how to get these things to turn you know to where you were tightening them so each one turns differently so that's why lefty is not lucy